Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStreets.com and today we are here at the Lenovo event and we have the Lenovo Vibe shot with us. As you can see, we have already done the hands-on of this device earlier. So we are not going to do a quick review as of now. The thing which I am going to look at on this phone is going to be the build quality, premium looks and then the camera which is the major highlight because this one has got a pretty good camera of 16 megapixel at the back which has got optical image stabilization and you have got three LED flash over there and it has an infrared sensor over there with which it can actually give you faster autofocus and it does focus pretty fast this is something which I have seen so overall this device feels good when you hold it in hand talking about the overall looks it looks very premium and it feels very solid when you hold it in hand it does have a lanyard port as well and it has got a metal frame which does make this look nice and also make it pretty solid in terms of the build quality the front also has got a very good camera. We have taken some shots from the front camera as well. The overall look and feel of the phone is nice and again it looks very premium. It has got a pretty good display as well. The angles are also looking good. You can see the display from almost any angle without any issues. Now let's come back to the camera point and we have taken some photos from this device. I will be putting these photos later on in the remaining part of this video. You can see that. This is one photo which we have clicked on this device especially from the front camera and again you can see certain amount of beautification is already applied onto this photo when I clicked it so beautification effect will be already there you don't need to configure it it will be automatic which is good we have also taken some low light shots from this phone low light performance of the device is also impressive this is one low light shot in which uh, there is very less amount of light but still it has captured good amount of details the color protection may not be that great especially in low light shots but the overall clarity will be good enough which you can see and then we have some other shots which we have taken in daylight this is one shot in which there is a fish over there if you haven't noticed and it has taken this shot very nicely and you can see the fish once you zoom in and this is another shot which we have taken in daylight this one also looks good especially in daylight you can see very good performances there on this phone and we have also taken some more shots of some flowers over there in daylight which are looking good this is a shot a close-up shot of a plant and everything has been captured very nicely in terms of details and in terms of colors as well and then we have some other, other samples we, I have also recorded the front camera video sample and the rear camera video sample and I will put that at the, at the end of this video this is another shot which we have taken again the overall performance of the device in terms of low light is good and against light performance is also good this is another shot which we have taken so you can see good amount of clarity is there and the color protection is also nice so uh, as far as camera interface goes like in, I can show you the camera interface and how does it look like this is how the front camera interface actually looks like and I can take a photo right now this is going to be against light scenario and I can take a photo and once I take a selfie from the front camera this is how it is going to look like you can see the selfie is looking good especially the front camera performance is good even when there is light behind my head which is nice as far as the camera interface and options are concerned uh, we have a lot of options over there on this device you have photo quality you can adjust expect ratio is 4 to 3 right now and then we have other modes as well you can also control the beautification level in case you would like to do that from the front camera let me just toggle to the rear one and on the rear camera you have more options you also have this button over there with which you can toggle in between the auto mode and the pro mode and the pro mode actually gives you more options like you can control over the ISO you can control over the white balance and other things as well and you can tap here to actually bring some different kind of effects you can actually apply onto these photos in case you would like to take them with these effects and you can access here to access different modes you have a pro mode which we already told you about we have panorama mode night mode is also there you do have r HDR mode and you also have blur background mode as well and you can also take wide angle selfies from the front camera which is possible because the front camera is wide angle and you can also take these kind of shots as well uh, especially with long exposure so uh, in all it looks like a good phone oh, and one thing which I can do in front of you right now I can take a photo and show you the kind of depth of field you can achieve from this device once you take a photo so this is the kind of depth of field you can get clarity is good and the overall color production is also nice so we will come up with a full review of this device later on this is all we have 
to say as far as the quick review and uh, quick impressions about the camera i will be uploading some video samples of this device as well separately so you can see that you can find out the audio and video clarity you can expect from the front camera as well as from the rear camera on this phone which is the major highlight and this comes with snapdragon 615 so it does heat up as well especially if you record a video for around 10 minutes you can experience good amount of heating at the back side as well as on the edges which are metallic and again it does heat up slightly more we will check the heating part later on but again because this device has a metal body and a glass back it will definitely heat up so this is all we have to say thanks for watching the video in case you have any question for this device you can leave your questions in the comment section below you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStews.com and today we are recording this video from Vibeshot, the Lenovo device and this is being recorded from the front camera on this phone and right now you can see that we are shooting this video at India Habitat Center if you have not recognized it till now and this is daylight as of now not much of sunlight but it keeps coming and keeps going away uh, this is the kind of clarity you can expect from this device as far as the front camera is concerned uh, this device has a very good camera at the back and a very good camera at the front as well. I can miss, I can see myself pretty clearly in this video, uh, at least on the screen of this device. And we will later on find out how good this video is in terms of the revolution once we upload it on our channel. So do let me know what do you think about this device as far as front camera quality is concerned. This is being recorded from the front camera and the audio is also taken from the device itself. Thanks for watching this video. In case you have any queries and questions, please leave your questions and queries in the comment section below this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you. Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStreets.com and today we are recording this video from the rear camera on Lenovo Wipe Shot. As you can see, this is the kind of clarity you can expect as far as the rear camera is concerned. We are right now recording this video in a daylight scenario and this is the kind of clarity you can expect from this phone. The audio is also getting recorded from the device itself so you, you can get an idea about the audio clarity of this phone as well in this video. When it comes to tap to focus, this one does have auto focus but if you tap on the screen to focus on a specific subject, it won't let you do that. So you cannot use tap to focus while recording the video. Although you can take photos while recording the video like this. And again, this is the kind of clarity you can expect on the video as well as on the audio front on this phone. And in terms of focusing, I would say it is good. And if you are at the right distance from the subject, it will focus on it like this. If you are very close, then it may not focus that properly. So make sure you are at the right distance to focus. And again, camera clarity looks good, at least on the display. And we will find out once we upload this video. So you can see it, it has focused my hand. The only thing you need to take care is that you need to be at the right distance from this from the camera and it will focus. So that's all from us. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.